Hello students and welcome again to this channel. My name is Mr. Meshak Ngige and welcome to eMaths with Mr. Meshak Ngige. Kindly, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe as we grow this channel together. So today I'm going to be looking at uh, the neck revision that is uh, from uh, 2024, October, November series. And that is question number two, where it deals with matrices two, uh, finding again values and again vectors. So kindly let us jump right in to question number two A. And the question says, determine the eigen values and corresponding eigen vectors of the matrix so we're determining so let me divide my board <coughs> excuse me we determine <coughs> again values and vectors and the corresponding again vectors to matrix a to a the matrix a was given by negative one two then we have two and we have two okay so this is question 2a so you have question 2a so we just dive right in so solution so remember for you to solve we have to know take note of this particular equation here and when you take matrix a minus lambda i into bracket then you have x that one uh, should give you I uh, should give you zero now we solve for this part here we call it the characteristic equation so we know that when we solve for lambda oh, sorry for that that a minus lambda i a minus lambda i uh, the determinant of that we solve that this equation here is called the ce the characteristic equation so therefore our matrix a is this matrix then subtract lambda i uh, lambda i means it is just a constant multiply the identity matrix so our a matrix here will be so the determinant of let me just put that so we have negative one two 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 subtract lambda i which is just zero 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 lambda and we said here this should give you zero uh one thing you should just note you can uh, escape this part here because we know one thing that when you are subtracting uh, a matrix and a number that has been multiplied by the identity matrix the only values which are going to be changed are the values in the main diagonal are you together so uh, this is just the main diagonal so we are saying the values of a in the main diagonal are the ones which are going only to subtract the odds are to subtract the lambda so we shall have negative one minus lambda zero then we have two so you can check not zero sorry here here we have two so we have two here so this part and this part remains the same the only value that changes is at the main diagonal so it is two minus lambda uh, that one should give us zero so we calculate this so we know uh, the determinant how do you get the determinant of a two by two matrix multiply elements in the main diagonal subtract the elements in the minor diagonal so we shall have um, two minus lambda we have negative one negative lambda then minus two times two gives you four that should give you zero so therefore two times uh, two times a negative one gives us negative two two times negative lambda negative two lambda negative lambda times a negative one gives us positive lambda lambda uh, lambda negative and lambda negative gives us a lambda positive squared then minus four should give us zero okay so i believe our expansion of this should not be an issue because it is the first term multiplies by everything the second term also multiplies by everything in the second part so therefore starting with the lambda squared then values that follow with lambda so we have negative two plus one which gives us minus minus lambda okay minus two plus one is minus one so just yes, minus lambda then you have negative two negative four which gives us negative six that one should give us what should give us zero remember here the values that are going to find of lambda are the values which you are going to uh, to determine uh, are going to be our eigen values by the end of the day so therefore get two numbers so you get two numbers 
so you say lambda and lambda so this one applies only if your value here is one and in most cases when you're solving matrices for eigenvalues and eigen vectors the value here is always a one are we together so we have this and this should give you zero so you find two numbers when you multiply you get negative six and when you add you get negative one okay so those two numbers basically should be negative three plus two okay negative three plus two so when you multiply negative three and positive two gives you negative six when you take positive uh, negative three plus two it gives you negative one so our values will be negative uh, negative three or well, we can start with the positive so positive two and negative three so those are your two values so therefore from this you can now get the values of lambda so it is either lambda plus 2 equals to 0 which gives you lambda to be negative 2 or lambda minus 3 equals to 0 where it gives you lambda to be equals to 3 so we can call this one lambda 1 and we call it lambda 2 so the values of lambda 1 and lambda 2 therefore gives you the again uh, values now these two values you are going to calculate the eigen vectors corresponding to each eigen value are you together so now we start with the first one we start with the first so we say four lambda one equals to negative two now since we already have our ce here we already know we are now we are now going to work with the relationship to this part huh? okay so we know a lam minus a minus lambda i is given by this part the whole of these eh? so a minus lambda i so since we know uh, we know a minus lambda i we are going to solve this equation lambda i then you have your vector here should be equals to zero right together so therefore this part here is just given by minus one now okay let me just rewrite it then you have two then you have 2, then you have 2 minus lambda into bracket. Then your x will have x1, x2. Okay? Because those ones are what we're going to give you the again vectors. So we have 0, uh, 0, 0. So, but in our case here, our lambda is what? Negative, negative 2. So minus 1, minus, minus 2. Remember the value here is minus 2. So it's negative 1, minus, minus 2. So that one will give us definitely to be a positive. So negative 1 plus 2 gives you 1. Then you have 2. Then you have 2. Then 2 minus minus. Together. 2 minus minus 2, which will give us 4. So we have that. We have x1. We have x2. Then equals to 0, 0. So from this point, you're just going to have an equation and it can be formed from any. So remember how we multiply matrices? Row, column, okay? So 1 times x1 gives us x1 plus 2 times x2, so this is x2, okay? Um, it will give you 2x2 equals to, equals to 0. From that point, make x2 the subject of the formula. So we shall have 2x2 is negative x negative x1 then divide both sides by 2 and uh, by 2 here and by 2 here so we have x2 is the same as negative a half of x of x1 then we say we let our x1 to be 1 so or when our x1 is 1 so when you put your x1 to be 1 here your x2 so when you put 1 you remain with negative negative a half are you together yes so when you put one here you get your x2 will be negative a half so therefore your first again vector will be given by one remember it is x1 x2 negative a half okay but now we say you cannot have a fraction here so multiply both uh, the two fractions by the denominator here to remove the fraction so remove uh, multiply this one by two multiply by two so your y1 in this case therefore will be two negative one so that the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value negative two is two negative negative one and that is the same 
with uh, for the second one so i can i can just have a division here board so again we come for lambda 2 equals to 3 again we know our equation here lambda i x equals to 0 so we already know this part so we can just replace our value being 3 here already are we together so minus 1 minus 3 negative 1 negative 3 remember our value here now is negative uh, is 3 are we together so negative 1 minus 3 uh, which will give us negative 4 then we have 2 and we have 2 then again 2 minus 3 which gives me negative negative 1 x1 x2 equals to 0 0 so we are saying what you should just notice is this irregardless on how you which way you multiply either you use the first row with the with the column or the second row with the column the outcome is always the same kindly note that so it really doesn't matter which equation you shall form but the outcome is always the same so again multiply row column so negative 4 times x1 gives us negative 4 x1 2 times x2 plus 2 x2 gives you 0 then again make x2 the subject of the formula so you shall have 2 x2 equals to 4 x1 remember this one is negative goes to this other side it becomes positive therefore divide by 2 both sides so divide by 2 divide by 2 so we shall have x2 is the same as 2 x x1 then from that point when or we say we let our x1 to be 1 so what will be your x2 so when your x1 is 1 when you replace 1 here so 1 times 2 just gives us what 2 therefore your y2 will be what your x1 when your x1 is 1 your x2 is 2 so therefore the eigen vectors corresponding to lambda 2 equals to 3 would be 1 2 ladies and gentlemen students that is how you get yourself 11 marks from getting again values and again vectors so kindly again if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe share also to your fellow colleagues so that we may learn and uh, get helped together so thank you and see you in the next lesson